Yeah, nice and close is probably perfect. Hello guys, Captain Cody here. I am at an Alaska fishing game rockfish release device seminar. And I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different rockfish release devices. And we'll start over here. These are the main types of device. This is actually a piece of rebar with a hook on it. That's one release style. This shows how it works right here. You got your line hooked up, your rockfish will be clipped on here. As this jig is sinking, it'll hold the rockfish up here. Once you get to the bottom, you pull on this, the rockfish should just slide right off. It's actually a really simple way to do it. This is another release style. These are the ones you probably see most commonly, they're the simplest. Same thing, just different sizes. So here we have a rockfish release device on a pole. And whenever you throw this, you have your rockfish hooked on through here. You actually throw that weight and this hook comes up and around and then that descends. And once you do about a 10 count or a 20 count depending on your depth, the rockfish will slide right off this. And this is the one that I actually usually use. It's a pressure release device. It's called a sequelizer. You crimp the rockfish on there, and then it has various settings for 100 feet, 200 feet, or 300 feet. And then you just send it down on a downrigger or on a pole, and this thing will pop open at whatever depth you have it set at. And this is the simplest device right here. Just a hook with a swivel. And these are all required now to have on a boat to release rockfish. And right here we actually have just a box with rope tied to it with a bunch of rebar you actually just put your rockfish in there and you send it down to whatever pre-depth your rope is 100 feet 200 feet 300 feet that's the simplest way to release a rockfish and probably the quickest here's a conserving rockfish of Alaska sign you can see that rockfish there suffering from something known as Barotrauma. Rockfish caught in deep water often sustain injuries referred to as barotrauma caused by rapid decompression and expansion of gases in the swim bladder. This is put together by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Here it says to reel the fish up as quick as possible. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not. I always thought you were supposed to reel them up kind of slow uh, to help the rockfish out, but I'm not sure about that. Prevention methods to help rockfish out. Avoid catching unwanted rockfish. When targeting other species such as halibut and ling cod, rockfish are caught as bycatch. Um, to prevent this, you can keep your jigs and baits 10 feet off the bottom. This has little or no effect on halibut or ling cod catch rates. Or you can just move to a different area if you're catching rockfish unintentionally. It says target other species first. To harvest rockfish as part of a mixed bag, Target other species first. This will allow you to retain any incidental rockfish caught as part of your limit and minimize the number of rockfish released. Um, avoid excessive harvest. It says they only last about four months in your freezer, so don't take a bunch and then not eat them. And then just use release friendly tackle. More information can be found at the Alaska Department of Fish and Game website. So these are all your pelagic rockfish. And these are all your non-pelagic rockfish. Obviously on here you have 12 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got at least 17 different types of rockfish, but there's actually even a lot more than that. You have your yellow eye, vermilion, tiger, silver gray, china, quillback, I'm not sure what that one is, copper, Red banded, rosehorn, and canary. Here's a cool sticker. Save a rockfish. Practice deep water release. This is just trying. If you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. If you click the notification bell, you'll get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck fishing. Thank you.